you know what time it is. It's kit lineup day, and y'all, this is thick. This is very thick, but we're going to go ahead and get into it. This is going to be for the month of December. Um, this is a B6 planner by Print Impression, and these are his sticker sleeves. I will try and link it all down below. This is for my regular planner that I film videos for, as well as my non-filming planner that I just mess around with. I just like playing with stickers off camera, so I have adapted that from basically stealing the idea from Hannah. So let's go into this thicky, thicky stack, and I will show you the preliminarily set up because you know things sometimes change. So let's go ahead and pull this out. First things first, December 4th through the 10th is the week of Kirsten's birthday. So I decided last year, I think that her birthday was on the same week of Lila's birthday. So I saved this kit for this week. So first things first, is this is Seasons Creepings. I do have the ultimate kit. I'll show you what add-on options I have here as well. These are no longer available as per a year ago, but super cute, like spooky Christmas. I do also have the fashion, the doodle, and then the two different extra colors. I also went ahead and threw in this from the Christmas doodle sampler. And then I also pulled in, I'm trying to pull in the colors of the week when I can, just so that I have one prepared up. So this is color number 48 and it's like a sparkly black. Then as far as foil goes, I do have two different things here. The first thing here is going to be, let me pull up my flashlight so you can see the whole thing, is a sparkly, come on focus baby, a sparkly black, I don't know if you can see it, sparkly black confetti. This is just one of our regular confetti version foil bundles. So I have that and then I also have the spooky cutie foil bundle from Perlana Hannah in Lavender Hollow. I'm trying to think. Actually, all of the um, Scroll Prints Co. Plana Hannah collabs are going to be available for Black Friday, which is, like, if you watch this video the day it comes out, it will be next week. So if you wanted to get your hands on any of the old ones, definitely do so then. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be a cute combination together. I'm probably going to do a lot of layering. Um, I think it's going to be super stinking cute for the week of Kirsten's birthday. And then for my non-filming planner, I don't have a color of the week in here because I have like a tan color. I'll actually show you what it is. I have a tan color in with a week in. There it is. This color. Ooh, it's going everywhere. Color number 83, I think, would match pretty well with this tan. But I have that in with another kit. So that's the color. Like once I'm done, I'll pull that kit, that color into here. Um, but I am using the Home Alone kit. This was a pop mystery, um, exclusive art, so you won't find it anywhere else. I don't have, oh, I do have the doodle extra here, but that isn't an ultimate. And then as far as, um, the other things go, I do have this color from the Christmas doodle sampler. I thought the green matched pretty well. And again, like if I use this and there's still some left, I'll probably, there's probably other kits that have like a green, a dark green color like this one. I'll probably pop it in that one. Um, I have a custom multi in font two from Plana Hannah with just some of my scripts. I also have this Caress Press freebie that I just threw in here because I think this is one of the only weeks I'm using silver. And then I had two other quotes here. I don't remember what kit I used them with. I think they might have been for Amanda's wedding week, which is this week, and I'm, I'm stressed. And um, then I just did two quotes on here. So it says, Kevin, and keep the change, you filthy animal. To put on here and then as far as foil goes I am going to use a scroll prints go foil bundle and I am just using a silver snow foil bundle and I think that that will be really really pretty especially with all of those dark colors the next week is the week of Miss Lila Joy's birthday Hannah is on her way okay so Lila Joy's birthday <clears throat> She's going to be big old too. And the two, there's only really two things that she's like super interested in. And that is um, Baby Shark and she likes Let It Go from Frozen. So I went with the Let It Go option because I already did a Baby Shark. But if she likes Baby Shark next year, we're going to do Baby Shark. But I thought this worked well also with it being like Christmas time. So I have already used this kit before, but it's been a while. And this is the Frozen kit. 
you want to order this you can email me but I think this is the old format where it's the non-split bottom washi but it still works perfectly fine for me but I did have a little space on one of the sheets of things that I needed cursor to print so I threw in a 15 millimeter strip just to make my life easier this is the ultimate kit as far as other things that I have I have this light blue from the Christmas doodle sampler I feel like I might need to bring this back just for a week so you guys can get your hands on it because it is going to be out whenever you see this but I have a feeling that once you get it and start putting them in you're gonna be like I need more because I'm actually like I need more so we'll see. So this is the light blue from there. And then I also pulled out color number 58. I thought this color matched the like darker pink in here really pretty. So, um, and that's kind of the colorway I'm going with. It's kind of hard to see. Let me do this this way. Okay. So as far as foil goes, I went a little crazy because it's my girl's birthday. So I have a lot of things here and it's just kind of like whatever happens, happens. So... I decided that I wanted to do, let me show you the bottom washies, the um, ice skating purple, which is called, I think, confetti purple, and then also pixie magenta. I thought that that was like a really pretty pull in of the purple and the pink, like, right? Super pretty, especially this pink. If you're going to do just one, I would do the pink, but also like ice would be really pretty with this, but I wanted to go more towards the pink and purple colors. So I did get, this is like a custom sheet. So I just asked for the, I did the custom multi and I asked for the washi that's on the like snow bundle. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. Gonna do a mixed metal situation there. I also did get one of each of the Jack Frost in each foil color. I did also get the glitter header overlays, the confetti ones in each foil color. And then I also picked up the confetti for overlays in the Pixie Magenta because I have a plethora of things in the Ice Skating Purple because I have used it so many times that I just threw everything in here and, you know, whatever happens, happens. Realistically, probably should have gotten a custom multi in this pink color, but I probably will just use this custom multi and then whatever I don't have, I will get a custom multi in the pink. That'll actually work out really well, I think. Will work out fairly well. I actually did that recently. I had a kit that has, um, what's it called? Um, I'm using like three different foil colors and I had custom multis in the two and then the custom multi that I ordered after with all of, like the random things on it, I ordered in the third color since I didn't have one for that. So let's go in to the non-filming planner for um, Lila's birthday. I almost switched these because I was like, this is just so pretty. This is so Lila. Lila loves like everything girly, pink, sparkly. And yeah, so this is Magic Morning. This was a pop mystery recently. And as far as add-ons go, I think I just literally have the doodles. Yeah, I just have the doodles here. But this is such a cute kit. So I do have that in an ultimate. I do have the doodles. I have this color from the, um, which I think is actually, I might've pulled this color from here, um, from the Christmas doodle sampler. And then I also have these sparkly silver, like if you see them, they have like a silver foam sparkle. Uh, this is color number 64. I thought it'd be really pretty with this since there's so much like pink and blue going on. I also did throw in um, these, well, I didn't throw in, I bought them. Uh, mouse ornaments from Planet Hannah that is in Pixie Hollow, Sparkly Hollow. I also had these from last year that I threw in. I don't know if I'll use them, but I just figured if I wanted to, they would be there. These were the like the font of the month for like November or something last year. And then also these mini deco bits, which would be perfect for little things as well, which I also, I'll go over then. Cause I didn't go over my last video, like the stuff that I keep up here during the holiday season. I'll go over that at the end. Then I also have some quote boxes. These were the um, like magical snow quote boxes. I don't really know. If you want to order them, let me know. But I just threw in both of these because I figured if I wanted to use these, I could use them from here. But if I wanted to use these, obviously I have the sheet as well. And then as far as the main foil bundle goes, I do have the magical snow in sparkly hollow. So very cute. This just has regular bougie because this was before me doing like bougie for everything differently so I figured the mouse ornaments would work perfectly and then I'll just take the bougie from here and save her for later it's always nice about 
using different underlays as you can always save the other underlays and use them later. This is the week of the 18th to the 24th, so this is Christmas Eve. This week, me and Hannah are making a gazillion different cookies. Like, that's what, this is, we're just making all the traditions this year. So we each picked, like, four or five different cookies, and we are going to be making them and giving them to people we love. So this is Christmas baking, such a cute kit, and I do have the um, doodles as well as the fashion. Hannah used both of these and was like, it's us. Um, and then I did also pick up the, um, actually this is multiple things. Hold on. Please hold. I'm just going to take this out because we don't need it in here. Well, I do have a custom multi in matte bronze for this. And then I did pick up, I don't know. I don't know. Everything's like kind of mixed up. I do have, <clears throat> the like gingerbread foil bundle from hannah here the collab one that i designed um in matte bronze i think will be really pretty with this and then i just figured if i wanted to kind of like tone it down a little bit i do have this shimmer bundle from me as well and then i also have like the scripts and icons and all kinds of different things to work with um in case i want to like you know chill it out a little. Maybe I'll want to use the sparkly underlays or maybe I'll want to do the gingerbread underlays with this. I have a feeling this week is going to be very busy because it is Christmas Eve week. So I think I might end up using these and then I'll just save these underlays. And then later on, maybe I would just use something like this and then have the gingerbread underneath of like a less busy week in the future. But I just think that's another way to take these more themed foil bundles. If themed, super themed foil bundles are not for you, you could kind of like take them and then split them up into two weeks or even more and then kind of like tone it down with more neutral foil bundles. And I think that that is a nice way of doing it. Then for that same week in my non-filming planner, um, and the same thing, that week I don't have any... Um, like color of the week in here because I had a color of the week that I wanted to use in like a past week in here or I could just use that like nude color um but anyways uh so the next kit here is going to be Carol and this is I believe in the shop now right super pretty like really dark beautiful art I have the doodle as well as the fashion which is so cute and then as far as other things go I do have this from the, actually I have both of these from the Christmas Doodle Sampler, the navy and then the sparkly gold. I'm trying to think, I thought there was another one that I used sparkly gold with, but maybe not. No, I, I didn't really use champagne lights here at all. So have those in there. And then my foil in this is like a little, a little all over the place, but not really. So I have this burgundy holly berries from Plan of Hannah. I haven't decided if I wanted to put like gold over top of them because I did do that recently. I had never put in like bougie, I think over top of something. And then I did it recently. Let me show you what it looks like in a non-filming. That's where I do all my experiments thing in here. Hold on. Let me show you. I put it over top. I don't know if you're able to see. Yeah, you see over top. It's like a different look. So I might end up doing for this one doing gold bougie on top and I'm gonna look like sometimes depending on how things foil bougie is like sometimes lighter or sometimes darker I think like a lighter bougie on this would be really pretty and then as far as foil goes I do have a custom multi from Planet Hannah this is a custom multi of all of my favorite things and this is in font 2 I just format this and send it to Hannah because it's way easier and then also I have the Hollyberry header overlays in the gold I thought that'd be really pretty over the dark colors and then I do have a caress press mistletoe bundle this is in a mini and this is in gold and I was like oh I'll just use regular gold bougie but um actually let me put in some gold bougie so that I don't forget uh, I have so much bougie like literally just bougie for days we're just gonna grab two bougies just to throw them in so I don't forget these ideas because sometimes like my brain is just not fully screwed on so that is the idea here. I think it's gonna be really pretty, like the dark mixed with the like light gold color. And when I order from Hannah, also I always have a coupon code with Hannah down below. But whenever I order from Hannah, I always order light gold to match my gold. The regular gold, it's not a bad match, but it's just like way hotter. So that is that. Then for the week of actual Christmas, 
Um, I do have a bunch. It's kind of like one of those weeks where you're like, Andre, I don't know if you need that much. And I was like, but I do. So this one here is Mary and New. Let me show you. This is exclusive art. Can it's just art? We love it. Perfect, gorgeous, everything. Just messaged me in, I don't remember, like July. I don't know. It was a while ago. And she was like, oh, like this year, New, New Year's and Christmas are on the same week. So we need to do something there. And I was like, mm, yeah, we do. So we have this, which is very like New Year's and Christmas vibes. This was like the top selling kit of this quarter. So I feel like everybody has it. So I have Fashion One. I have the, or not Fashion One, Fam Six Fashion One. And then I have the extra color and the doodles as far as the kit goes. This is the ultimate Mary and New. Then as far as color of the week goes, I do have two different color of the weeks here because this one I actually, I think I pulled the color. Did I pull? Yeah, I pulled the color from this kit for this one, which was 91. But I also do have this, which is 88, which I kind of made to kind of mimic uh, Pixie Rose. And I initially was going to use like a pink sparkly foil with this, but then I changed my mind because I was like, Pixie Rose needs to have her moment this year because she was kind of a little bit of a, a love affair with me. So let's go through the different things I bought because it's a little bit chaotic, but honestly, it's like one of those things where it's going to be a game day decision. So first things first, I do have a custom multi in font two and Pixie Rose from Plan Hannah. I also designed this. I think Hannah might be listing it. I know that if you ask her, she will make it for you. If you order like a custom thing and just say like Andrea's Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, she will make it. Um, but this I just designed for this. It says Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and then has some fireworks. I thought it was cute. And then as far as other foil, I did get the fireworks underlays, which I also did, did design for Plana Hannah. They are super singing cute. They have little um, stars throughout. And then I did pick up um, the lights um, bundle in Pixie Rose as well. Because again, I probably won't use the Pixie Rose Christmas lights, but I'll just save those for a future time. But I thought it'd be cute to have like maybe the lights headers or maybe just some of the overlays or maybe just the bottom washi. I wasn't really sure. I wasn't really sure what the plan was here. Um, and then I also do have other Pixie Rose stuff. I just think I have another Pixie Rose spread prior to this that I'm like hoarding it all with. So that is everything for Mary and New. Again, it's kind of like a thicker stack, but it's Christmas week. She only comes but once a year and she needs to be beautiful. So we have that. Then I didn't really have a rhyme or reason for a lot of the times that I did things in my non-filming planner. So this is not really a New Year's set, but it's just like a Christmassy set. I love these colors of this like, um, it's snuggle season. I'm pretty sure this is an old format. I don't know. Is the bottom one she split? Or no, is this, did I reformat this? Maybe this might be reformatted. Honestly, I don't remember anymore. I'm old. I'm 31. I'm going to be 32 in six months. But anyways, so yeah, I think this is new format. I'm just, I'm always lost. Anyways, I love the colors, so I wanted to use it. And then as far as, I got a lot of things going here too. Oh yeah, here, there, here are the add-ons. I was like, oh, it's probably old because I don't have the add-ons. Nope. Doodle, fashion, fam. So cute. That could totally, actually it looks more like TT than Lila, but so cute. So cute. Um, Let's go ahead and get into the foil that I picked because it's a real, it's a real something around here. So I do have a sparkly red, which I think is pixie red, um, custom multi, font two, duh. And then I decided that this, I was going to go rogue and we're doing sparkly hollow and sparkly red. Which I feel like I need to write down again because I was like, I should probably order a bundle in sparkly red and sparkly. Or did I write it down? Mix metal, spark red, spark hollow. Okay. Hopefully I don't forget. Okay. I think that'd be really pretty, but I'm going to be doing this because I thought that'd be fun. And I did the birch because I was looking through all of Hannah's different like underlays and I thought because there's like wood here and like wood and like wood, there's like a lot of wood going on that the birch would be something different. So I feel like I got a lot of string lights, a lot of a lot of snow going on. So I thought the birch would be something different, something of interest. Now, as far as foil bundles go, for some reason, I think I need three. So this one is the more confetti red that came out recently. Um, I think this is this is still available in shop. Our spark, our teeny sparkly red, it's sold out. It's gone forever. I don't know. Maybe I'll bring it back. But um, she sold out fast. I think I have like extra foil from other stuff sitting on here. But... I have this in confetti, 
because I also have these foil bundles, which are Jingle, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells from Crest Press. But I don't know, like, if I want something more normal to, like, break it up, like a confetti or whatever. Obviously, I could go in and get, like, Sparkly Hollow, whatever. We have that in the, in, the, in the stash. But a sparkly red in here, just in case I want to use, let's say, I decide I want to put sparkly red behind these and sparkly silver behind these. Or I decide I want to use um, plain header overlays because these are, like, pretty patterned. Or I want to use a couple of these overlays and then a couple of these. Or I want to use the bow bottom washi and I don't and I don't want to use and I want to use the confetti version of this. So we have options and I could also then like game day pull out. Like I think it'd be really pretty to do because I think Crest Presses. Oh, this one has bougies. Crest Presses um, 15 millimeters aren't like really um, what are they called? Like you, can, it's hard to like. Yeah, it would be hard to like. I mean, I could. To like mix metal that because they're so tiny so i think that actually be cute as i might do a jessica did i saw her overlay um 15 millimeters like maybe i'll do like the bows and do the bows from here and then a sparkly hollow bows and then take these bottom washies and overlay them on top of each other so these so like the sparkly hollow uh light bulbs would be over top of these and then the sparkly red ones would be over top of the other ones is that how it would work no, it would just be one or the other. I couldn't do that, could I? Could I do that? I could do it, but I would just pick one or the other. So it'd be like red. I'd probably do the red over the sparkly hollow. I think that'd be really cute. I think I'm gonna do that. So maybe I should pull out a sparkly hollow bow so I don't forget my ideas because again, oh no, my binder's ripping. And I just completely ruined a sheet of stickers. So I'll just put those into my de-stash. They'll flatten out. I need to tape that up actually. We're not, I know you're here. We're here for a long time, but we're gonna just be here for a little bit longer. So, the bows. I mean, that's technically the end if you don't wanna see the other part. Thank you for watching, but if you wanna sit here and listen to me ramble, feel free. So, let me find my bows. Here we go. Here's some bows. Um, And then, if I need any like, glitter headers I think we'll do that later because not like a, I'll figure that out I won't forget about that part so that's my idea for um these are these are just thick stacks recently um single season it's just Christmas that's just the way that the cookie crumbles and I'm okay with it so that is the whole Kit Kat and Caboodle for December that's ridiculous I know now let me show you what I keep here this is I have like a whole entire um, album, which I think I have a video on previously of like this stuff, which I do sometimes like root through here last minute. And whenever I am doing my kit lineup, I did root through here. So this is just a simply gilded thing that like sits really far back. If I order anything during the year, I pop it in. For some reason, I need something Christmassy during the year, which sometimes does happen. Like you might watch a Christmas movie or a Christmas album drops or like Christmas in July. I don't really know, but like sometimes you need it. So there we go. I do have all of my um, like mini icons. So these are on all the different foils. I just keep them and then when I need them, I'll just pull them out. So this is what they look like. These are all unique and then they repeat twice. Perfect for little things. I already started using them in spreads. I think it's just so perfect and cute. Then I just have, actually let's just sort this out a little bit because it's honestly like a little bit of a mess. So I have a bunch of different things, but we're just going to show you everything because why not? And then you can, if you like, I'll tell you numbers. So if you want to order them, you can. Um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, this is like my pastel. Like there, there was a, there was a rhyme or reason for this. It's just kind of gone. So, all right. Okay. So from other shops, I do have a few things here. So I have the Once More With Love bucket list, super cute. The Pastel Holiday Deco Doodle, two of those. I have this from Rose and Tea, which is really cute with the little um, headphones. Paper Muse Craft, Ginger People, Paper Muse Craft, Festive Christmas, Paper Muse Craft. I have both of these like little, little boys, these so cute with their presents. Then um, from my shop, I do have just some freebies that had one out prior, just in case I need them. And then I do have some scribblers. So I do have scribbler number 68, which has like a Christmas tree sweater on. Scribbler number 23, which has Christmas lights entangled. Um, 22, which is holding a Christmas present. And 21, which has a Santa hat on. 
I also have some characters from my shop. This is Santa, and this is number 34. This is number 35, which is the Grinch. 36, which is some little elves. 126, which is Buddy the Elf. 127, which is Cindy Lou Who. 128, which is Kevin. 129, which is Ralphie. 130, which is Scrooge. 131, which is Snoopy. And 132, which is Frosty the Snowman. Then if we move on to the doodles, some of these are new, some of them are old. 241, um, this one comes in a bunch of different colorways, I believe, or at least two. We'll see if there's more. Um, so this was like a classic Christmas colorway, 241. 242, which is like more of a pink pastel. Um, 641, which has a sampling of different Christmas things. 6. 39, again, another sampling of Christmas things. 652, which is Disney sampling, along with 651. So this is the more like pink and blue, red and green. 339, which is wrapping presents. 245, which is the pastel version of that sheet. Uh, 340 candy canes. 335, some more like pinkish Christmas stuff. 337, which is wrapping presents. 338, which is scissors. Th two. 49 which is santa hats 336 which is a bobble 800 which is like a baking which i'll probably once christmas is over just move this into my cooking section 807 which is ornaments 806 which is pajamas 803 which is some cupcakes i'll probably put this into birthday after 802 which is a uh, snowman 809 which is santa mugs 805 gifts 804 christmas hats 801 um just like a sampler 808 rolling cookie doughs, 640, which is Christmas like sampler and darker reds, 642, another Christmas sampler and darker reds, 332, which is the like a baking, these are all um, then repeated, um, 334, which is different ornaments, writing a list and cookies and the different skin tone options, 244, which is the blue version of that one I showed you in the beginning, 334, 331, which is another random sampler. 243, which is again that one from the beginning, but in a more like neutral classic Christmas colors. And then 333, which you could see I've used a lot of these, are just Santa, Mrs. Claus, and reindeer. And that is everything for this video, y'all. I hope you liked it. It's probably my longest kit lineup to date, but honestly, it's been a fun time. But I hope you like this video. Leave me a Christmas tree if you have made it this far. Let me know what spread you are most looking forward to in your planner this year. And I will, well, the December, sorry, December. And I will talk to y'all in my next one. Bye!